Welcome traders to the Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 26th of September. And uh, in the US, really after the Federal Reserve's 75 basis point rate hike last week, and most importantly, Jerome Powell's commentary that the Fed is prepared to sacrifice growth and jobs to ensure inflation comes back to target, markets will be looking to hear from many more officials over the week ahead. Given the strong clustering of near-term forecasts for rates, and the economy, the hawkish comments hinting at another 75 basis point hike in November are likely to come thick and fast. Data calendar fairly light in the US next week. Focus is going to be on housing numbers uh, with mortgage rates now firmly above 6%. More pain is coming in the housing market where a recession is already underway. So in terms of the data slate on Monday, August Chicago Fed activity index, uh, regional surveys remain mixed. Uh, but outlooks are fragile. We'll also get the Dallas Fed Index as well. Uh, Fed speakers, Collins, Bostick, Logan and Mesta on Monday. Heading into Tuesday, we get August durable goods looking for a negative 0.1% print there. Investment spending clearly remains subdued. And we will start with the housing data. Uh, July FHFA house prices looking for a 0% print there, flat. Uh, we'll also get uh, the home price index looking for 02 percent set to see further slowing as rate hikes take effect we'll also get consumer confidence index uh, looking for a 104.5 print there confidence starting to consolidate similar to the university of michigan prints and we will get the september richmond fed index looking for a negative 10 there uh, volatile of late further weakening into year end is likely and we will get august new home sales looking for a negative 2.2 percent print there housing market under significant and lasting pressure and we will hear from Fed Chair Powell on digital currencies. We'll also hear from Evans and Bullard too on Tuesday. Then into Wednesday, August wholesale inventories looking for a 0.4% print there. Unwanted inventory accrual is a risk given the uh, end demand. And we'll also get uh, August pending home sales looking for a negative 0.5% print there. Housing market under significant and lasting pressure. And we will hear again from Daly, Bostich and Bullard and Evans. Then heading into Thursday, initial jobless claims looking to remain at very low levels. We'll also get Q2 GDP annualized looking for a negative 0.6% print there. Final estimate to confirm the component details. And further Fed speakers, Buller, Mester and Daly. And then heading into Friday, rounding out the week, we get August personal income looking for a 0.3% print there. We'll also get August personal spending looking for 0.2% print there. And the August PC deflator looking for a 0.1%. Uh, real income remains under pressure while inflation puts consumption at risk. The August call CPI upside surprise is also likely to ha hamper the uh, PCE reading. Uh, we'll then get the September Chicago PMI 51.8. Broad-based weakening and conditions should be evident. And we will get the September University of Michigan sentiment 59.5, the final estimate. And we'll round up the week hearing from Brainard and Williams. This week in terms of the charts... I've, uh, I've taken this out to the weekly chart, some interesting levels to pay attention to as we head into the week here. Obviously, a very strong week for the dollar last week. I'm paying very close attention now to a test of this trend channel resistance, uh, 113.30s. As long as we maintain uh, momentum divergence here, I see the potential for a pullback in the dollar. Uh, certainly thinking about a move back into test support to the 109 level. At this stage, a weekly close through the trend channel resistance will be a significant development, opening a test up to 118.50 as the major equality objective versus the broader swing structure and the swing low there at 88.11. Heading to the Eurozone. And what do we have in terms of data? Well, Monday we get the September IFO Business Climate Survey. Outlook highly uncertain, set to remain that way, looking for an 86 print there. And then heading into Thursday, we get the September Economic Confidence, looking for 96 there. Consumer confidence uh, also to remain uh, pretty deflated. The highly uncertain outlook has left consumer confidence at record lows. Last time out was a negative 28.8 print. And then running out the week on Friday, August unemployment rate looking for 6.6% there, holding at record lows. And we get September CPI uh, year over year, 9.7, 80% of the CPI basket running above the ECB's 2% year over year target. From a technical perspective, euro dollar, uh, if the dollar index is going to hold that 113.30 trend channel, we'd anticipate 
the dollar to uh, the euro dollar to try and make a stamp here at the 96 level looking for pullbacks then into trends channel resistance in the prior lows 10330s any close through 96 opens a move down to the 91 cents handle as the next downside objective sterling obviously dire week last week for uh, sterling after the announcements from the uk government with respect to uh, tax situation in the UK. Uh, from a data perspective heading into next week, um, Wednesday, September nationwide house prices, uh, annual growth cooling as rate hikes obviously take impact there. Thursday, we get August net mortgage lending, uh, last time out 5.1 billion. Rising rates and slowing economy are likely to be weighing now on lending. We round out the week in the UK on Friday, uh, Q2 GDP, final print, Zero, last time at zero point one percent, negative zero point one percent. The extent of uh, housing price consumption weakness is a key concern, uh, with uh, with consumers really feeling the pressure now. Of and in this period of the data, uh, with respect to the cost of living crisis, obviously we'll have to see what the tax uh, cuts bring in uh, in coming months. From a technical perspective, tracking. Uh, significant trend line support, which should see sterling test and hold the 106 area. Uh, from there, we look for uh, tradable pullback into that 114 prior uh, prior lows there. Uh, the pandemic lows, 114 is the test. If we take out the uh, trend line support on a closing basis, so close through 106, the next downside target, if we get through parity, is actually the quality objective, which would see us trading at the 96 level. Unbelievable as it may sound, that would be the technical downside objective. So, really going to be paying close attention to how we trade at this uh, potential trend line support just above the 106 level as we head into this week. Dollar yen, obviously, another strong week for the dollar yen. We did see some intervention, uh, but the markets seem to, uh, to pretty much take that in its stride off the initial reaction. In terms of data next week, Monday, we get the September Nikkei Services PMI. 49.5 last time out, manufacturing PMI 39.4, demand weakening on COVID-19, resurgence in the, in the region, services manufacturing remains subdued in the near term. And then we round out the week on Friday, August industrial production, looking for a negative 0.2% there, uh, downtrend into year end likely on cooling global demand. From a technical perspective, the uh, dollar yen has this big weekly channel that we're trading in. So I'm looking for an extension up into trend channel resistance, just above the 148. And as long as we maintain that momentum divergence, I'll be looking to fade that move and certainly thinking about a move back into test uh, the 139, 140 area as the next uh, area of potential uh, support. So pay close attention to any test into that trend channel resistance just at or just above 148 and that momentum divergence. And rounding out the week down under in Australia, uh, in terms of data, it's pretty quiet. We get retail sales on Wednesday, 0.5%, potentially as low as 0%, uh, likely to see a cresting there of retail spending. Uh, job vacancies also out on Wednesday at very elevated levels at a time of labour shortages. Then on Thursday, Westpac Business Survey, manufacturing a strong expansion on the reopening burst and so looking for a print there at around 64. And then running out the week on Friday, August private sector credit, looking for 0.7%, potentially as low as 0.6%. Emerging signs of slowing in Q3 as RBA rapidly raises rates. From a technical perspective, I'm looking for the Aussie dollar to put in a test here of descending, uh, projected descending trend channel support. So something into the 6450s. As long as we maintain momentum divergence, I'm looking for a trade uh, two alongside counter trend, uh, first target back into that uh, 68 handle and then up into the high volume load at the 7140s. At this stage, any close through this trend channel support, so through the 64 level, would see us trading down into uh, the 6160s as the next downside objective. And we'll just run out the week with a quick check in on Bitcoin and uh, further weakness seen there last week. We still uh, wait for that uh, 12,185 test as long as we maintain trend channel resistance just above 25,000. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 26th of September. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.